Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Buckley Park College graduation 2020. I'd like to introduce to you the senior school band. Good afternoon, ladies, gentlemen, families, and most importantly, our 2020 Buckley Park graduates. 
We come together today to celebrate your individual and collective achievements throughout this year and recognise your successes during your time at Buckley Park College as well as your 13 years of schooling. This year, your learning journey has been unlike your predecessors and has required each of you to adapt quickly to new ways of learning, collaborating and connecting with your teachers and the college. All of you have shown your capability in pivoting from learning on site to remotely and the resilience and perseverance to achieve your personal excellence. I want to acknowledge the college leaders, Amy, Sam, Hannah and Pat, as well as the VCO ambassadors, Indy and Alastair, who have represented the students across the college. Throughout the periods of remote learning, they have explored ways to support students so all students are in a positive headspace to learn. On this occasion, we reach a milestone that signifies the beginning where you will continue to make a positive difference beyond Buckley Park College. Every member of staff at the college working together with your family over the last six years has instilled in you our college values so you have the skills to be an effective learner, to make ethical decisions and continue to contribute to our community. These values will support you into the future as you commence your journey in university, TAFE, apprenticeship traineeship or the workforce. Today, I would like you to reflect on four characteristics that mark success in every person which we can achieve right now. These are honour, responsibility, diversity and relationships. Honour can so often be seen as an, such an abstract concept. I ask you in your reflection whether you try to behave with dignity and respect for all. Honour can be showcased through your actions to help others without judgement, especially at a time of adversity. Taking responsibility is where we can own our own mistakes, actions, and not lay blame on others. It is human to make mistakes, but most importantly, to learn from them. The question is not whether you will make mistakes, but how you will react. As the world becomes increasingly connected, the importance of recognising diversity is vital. It is diversity that makes us an individual. We all are unique with our strengths, passions and talents. Will you keep an open mind, recognising we all contribute positively in different ways? The most important characteristic of success are your relationships, which need to be both nurtured and protected. Once a connection is gone, it's gone, and you will never be the same again. The key to a relationship is to support each other both in happy and sad times. The final reflection I ask is, will you be there to support each other, challenge each other, especially when it is tough? The ultimate key to success is not material, not wealth, not fame. It is whether, when the time comes, you make the right decisions and be honourable and responsible, valuing the diversity and relationships around you. You've all taken a unique journey to reach the end of your secondary schooling. However, this journey was not taken alone. I wish to take the opportunity to recognise your teachers over the 13 years of your schooling journey and also the support and sacrifices your parent carers have made so you can achieve your personal excellence. Know, as you leave Buckley Park College, you will always be a part of the Buckley Park College community and that we are here to help you when needed. On behalf of the staff and I, congratulations on, your, on you completing the final year of your secondary education, which is only achieved through hard work, and we look forward to hearing about your successes in years to come. Thank you. Well, what a year it has been. I would like to start by congratulating the 17 VCAL students who have successfully achieved their senior VCAL certificate. I am sure that at the start of the year, you did not see the year panning out the way in which it did. By choosing VCAL, you signed up for a hands-on program and this year has been anything but hands-on. You have had to adapt and you have done so very well and I, along with your teachers, are so very proud of you and all that you've achieved this year. It has been my absolute pleasure coordinating you this year, even if it's been from afar for most of the year. This class is full of so many huge personalities. However, each and every one of you has brought something really special to the cohort. 
Throughout this year, I've had numerous conversations with your teachers and we have all identified how much we enjoyed our Google Meets that we had with you during remote learning. You were always present, you were always up for a chat and you always brought a smile to our faces. So thank you for that. Despite being locked down and unable to complete as many projects as we normally would, you've still been able to make a huge difference. You've created an excellent Aberfeldy orientation video for the grade six students. You made videos for change based on social issues that were important to you. You've raised funds to erect an Indigenous flagpole at Buckley Park College, which will forever be a reminder of your work and contribution to the college. And finally, you have created an amazing digital yearbook for your year level to enjoy. Throughout the many different projects we have completed this year in PDS, as well as your work in all of your other subjects, you have been able to demonstrate excellent teamwork and leadership skills, which you will take with you no matter what pathway you choose. I would like to thank the VCAL ambassadors, Indy and Alastair, who have represented the program so well and have helped coordinate a lot of these projects, particularly the digital yearbook. Both Alastair and Indy have been outstanding leaders and could be relied on by their teachers as well as their classmates. This year, we were fortunate enough to have one of our very own as part of the school captain team. And I would like to take a moment to thank Hannah Potter for her leadership through her position as vice captain Thank you for flying the VCAL flag and for always representing VCAL in such a positive way in student leader meetings. So to Catherine, Callum, Noah, Alex, James, Abby, Alastair, Dylan, Zoe, Hannah, Bailey, Michaela, Dacre, Josh, Theodora, Pippa, Indy and Nick. On behalf of your teachers, Miss Medic, Miss Muir and Mr Knight, it has been a pleasure. You will be greatly missed but we know that you will go on to achieve great things and we wish you the very best of luck. Congratulations. Catherine Abdoulos. Callum Brown. Noah Cole. Alex Dabrilovic. James Highland, Alastair Lynn, Dylan Martino, Zoe McMahon, Hannah Potter, Bailey Robinson, Michaela Shembry. Dakar Sinise. Theodora Scoofus. Joshua Sigger. Pippa Smith. Indy Sykes. Nicholas Tetradis. It is my great pleasure to announce the subject award winners for VCAL. The Numeracy Award has been awarded to Indy Sykes. Indy has tackled every one of the numeracy tasks with determination and care. She was willing to seek help and show any necessary calculations to achieve her goal. Most, if not all, tasks were completed on time with a great effort. The Personal Development Skills Award has been awarded to Hannah Potter. Throughout all of the projects we have run in personal development skills, Hannah has demonstrated exemplary leadership skills and has consistently shown dedication to the tasks that have been assigned. The Literacy Award has been, has been awarded to Michaela Shembury. Michaela has committed herself to literacy with a willingness to learn. Michaela has responded to set tasks in a thoughtful and insightful manner and always ensured that her work submitted has been of a very high standard. The Work Related Skills Award has been awarded to Alastair Lynn. Alastair has displayed outstanding commitment to his work in Work Related Skills this year. He has demonstrated great work ethic and he is always willing to help his peers and is a fantastic contributor in group tasks. The overall VCAL Award has been given to Dylan Martino. 
Throughout all of his subjects, Dylan has demonstrated determination and has shown enthusiasm for all tasks. He has worked consistently hard all year and should be really proud of his efforts. On behalf of the Lady Years team, we congratulate you on all of your achievements and wish you the best of luck in the future. Hey Year 12s, what a bloody year it's been. We never imagined being at school for three months in our last year of school. We, as your VCAL ambassadors and on behalf of the VCAL class, would firstly like to congratulate you on finishing your studies. We wish you all the best in your future endeavours and your future studies. To the year 12s of 2020, even though we spent the majority of this year remotely, it has still been a remarkable and different journey. And we're so grateful that it was spent with such an amazing, bright and funny cohort. We started this journey together, never think we would make it to year 12, but here we are. We have created memories along the way and now we're in year 12 looking back at the years past. Class of 2020 has officially made it into the history books. We lived and learned through a pandemic and we think it's safe to say we earned it and is a major accomplishment as no one will ever and hopefully experience what we did. In the last two years of doing VCAL, especially this year, has been the most memorable, emotional and heartfelt year with a beautiful bunch of students who have made this last year amazing. We all joined VCAL scared, immature and distant and now we have grown as individuals and a group. Over the years, we have formed strong friendships and created memories we will never forget. Without each other, we wouldn't have made it this far and achieved what we had. Firstly, we would like to give a big thank you to the teachers of the VCAL program, who are, to say the least, amazing and supportive of everyone throughout these years. They have played a major role in helping us grow and become strong, independent individuals. To the VCAL class of 2020, you will be missed but never forgotten. And to the rest of the Year 12 cohort, we have a, had a blast, but it's time to say goodbye and celebrate. Cheers, Cheers 2020, 2020 for an unforgettable, unforgettable year. year. It is with a sense of immense pride that I have been given the privilege on behalf of the whole school to congratulate every one of the college's Year 12 students on achieving success by graduating from Buckley Park College. And later, 129 of our students will be presented with their Victorian Certificate of Education and 17 with the Victorian Certificate of Applied Learning. I would like to thank each student for their leadership and terrific contribution to all aspects of the school community over the last six years. I and staff have been fortunate to work with this group and along the way have enjoyed each opportunity to guide, support and watch the class of 2020 grow and develop into outstanding young adults. I know that the foundations you have built will ensure that your future will continue to evolve positively, that the wonderful connections with your community will remain and it is our desire as you complete your time with us that your life continues to be full of further successes and is enriched with the knowledge that from within and together anything is possible. John Woden, an extraordinary American basketball player and coach, was often asked and did write extensively about leadership and the difference between winning and succeeding. He was passionate about being in the moment developing character, striving to be the best you you can be, and was often quoted, make each day your masterpiece. Make each day your masterpiece. He went on to say, do not let what you cannot do interfere with what you can do. And things turn out best for the people who make the best of the way things turn out. No truer words could have been spoken to all of us at the start of this year. Trent Cochin spoke on Brownlow Medal Night when asked about grand final success of savouring savoring the journey and not the destination. This year's journey has been unique, but no less worth celebrating and savouring. We have not allowed this year to define us, but have, in your studies, grasped the opportunity to define the year in your character, in the resilience, adaptability and flexibility you have shown. You have been extraordinary. And for many, this year has become your masterpiece in what you have achieved and how you have risen above adversity. I'd like to leave you with some thoughts from a poem I once came across. Sometimes I think the fates must grin as we denounce them and insist the only reason we can't win is the fates themselves have missed. 
Yet there lives on the ancient claim we win or lose within ourselves. The shining trophies on our shelves can never win tomorrow's game. You and I know deeper down there's always a chance to win the crown. But when we fail to give our best, we simply haven't met the test of giving all and saving none until the game is really won. Of showing what is meant by grit, of playing through when others quit. Of playing through, not letting up, it's bearing down that wins the cup. Of dreaming there's a goal ahead, of hoping when our dreams are dead. Of praying when our hopes have fled, yet losing, not afraid to fall if bravely we have given all. For who can ask any more of a man than giving all within his span? Giving all, it seems to me, is not so far from victory. And so the fates are seldom wrong, no matter how they twist and wind. It's you and I who make our fates. We open up or close the gates on the road ahead or the road behind. Make each day your masterpiece. No one can do any more than that. Whatever you do, do it to the best of your ability. Students and parents, tonight's graduation is a true celebration of a unique and beautiful group of students that are now on their way to achieving and completing their masterpiece. One step of a larger journey that is about to unfold and it is with great anticipation that we look forward to what happens next. Your wings have been built. It is now time to fly. Holly Arthur. Chris Atipa. Hannah Barui. Georgia Bate. Deborah Bellachu. Max Blake. Sarah Both. Luca Brading. Emily Berkovic. Riley Browning. Michaela Canton. Sarah Carrington. Marcus Cipri. Lincoln Clark. Prue Crook, Tamsin Crook, Harry Dalton, Macy Daniel, Valeria Di Stefano, Yuen Doe, Brian Doan. Olivia Doyle, Kyle Edgar, Hamza El Magrabi, Cassie Ferugia, Will Fracaro, Alice Freiger, Sima Jemmy. Alexander Giuseppos, Nina Grill, Haley Gunn, Liam Hamilton, Kate Henschel, Amy Hoang. Will Hoffman. Nick Huang. Serena Huang. Hamza Hussein. Kayla Genides. Thomas Karamalikis, Giorgio Katakis, Rose Kelly, 
Alaya Kalanda. Hope Kokoris. Indy Lang. Bridget Lee. Bella Lovett Pawsey. Catherine Mack. Abisha Mahendra. Natasha Matanyos. Kayla Maza Melissa. Emily Macron. Joshua McCune. Kieran McIntosh Bartlett. Chloe McKenzie. Patrick McLaughlin. Varshith Mesala. Indiana Mickelson Rust. Luca Misik. Harris Mohammed Sofiandi. Lachlan Minard. Zoe No. Brendan Nguyen. Jaden Nguyen. Fi Do Nguyen. Kwok Nam Nguyen. Vivi Nguyen. Samuel Nichols. Aaron Norris. Rebecca Nunn. Deanne O'Connor. Ania Odisho. Jakob Ort. Brandon Ojcik. Nada Osman. Jessica Overman. Matteo Pagano. Jade Palmer. Zach Palmer. Jacob Payne. Stephanie Panich. Zoe Penno. Charlie Pilates. Darcy Pilates. Montgomery Quinn. Ibrahim Ramehi. Dithmi Ranasinghe. Alyssa Reed. Ulysses Reed. Luigi Renda. Michaela Roberts. Thomas Roberts. Christian Rocker. Selena Ruth. Mia Rosen. Cassidy Rowe. Alijan Ruiz. Ahmed Sully. Carson Santiago. Nicola Savic. Lola Cicluna Opre. Brody Short. Joaquin Silva Bonilla. Arian Singh Malik. 
Ange Soldatos. Jessica Spigulia. Benjamin Spiteri. Jamie Starbuck. Isaac Sterling. Divya Subramanian. Kira Swift. Declan Taylor. Carson Taylor Jones. Michael Terizzi. Brian Tran. Douglas Tran. Gabrielle Troy. Perry Saronis. Amelia Vessio. Jaisha Wiraratni. Ashley Whitecross. Anali Widji Warding. Pierce Wilkinson. Dorian Wright. Fiona Ye. Seren Yildiz. Kana Yilmez. David Yu. Luke Zielinski. It is my great pleasure to announce the Year 12 Subject Award winners for 2020. Accounting, Alex Giuseppos. Alex has shown an outstanding commitment to his work this year. He is a highly motivated student and has been able to consistently achieve excellent results. Biology, Pierce Wilkinson. Pierce has demonstrated a diligent and consistent approach to all aspects of the subject, including assessment. A willingness to improve and challenging himself has always been evident. Business management, Mia Rosen. Consistently high results throughout the year, demonstrated by her ability to write with fluency and accurately using subject specific terminology. Chemistry, Luke Zielinski. Luke has worked consistently well throughout the year and has achieved excellent results. He is a curious chemistry student and is highly motivated. Computing, data analytics. Carson Taylor Jones. Carson is a highly motivated computing student. He worked well throughout the year and has achieved excellent results. Computing, software development. Perry Saronis. Perry has shown great interest in learning software development. He is a very motivated and hardworking student. Drama, Brandon Oychek. Brandon is motivated and passionate about drama. Throughout the year, he has challenged himself and produced some fantastic work as a result. Economics, Emily Berkovic. Emily has shown strong and sustainable growth throughout the year. Her strong results were achieved through sustained work and clarification. Well done. English, Emily Berkovic. Emily has consistently performed at an extremely high level in English, demonstrating sophistication in both her thinking and writing about text texts. She has sought and listened to feedback and her hard work and application has been evidenced in her excellent results. Food studies, Nina Grilsch. Nina has been a consistent high achiever over the year with all the results. She has been diligent in completing all set class tasks to a high standard and makes sure she takes the time to further understand the course content. Further maths, Bridget Lee. Bridget has worked hard all year and achieved some great results. She has completed all work to an excellent standard. She has sought feedback and this continues to improve her standard. German, Indy Lang. Indy has worked hard and consistently in German this year. She has been fleissig. Well done, Indy, for showing so much dedication in your German studies this year. Health and Human Development, Kayla Genides. Kayla has worked to an extremely high standard in relation to completing unit activities and SAC preparation. Kayla has consistently taken on board teacher feedback and embedded this in her work. 
she is a self-motivated and committed learner. History of Revolutions, Ashley Whitecross. Ashley has worked diligently throughout the year, completing all set tasks and keeping up to date with all of her notes. She has completed these tasks to a very high standard. She has also achieved consistently high results for every SAC. Outstanding effort, Ashley. Japanese, Bridget Lee. Bridget has worked diligently and consistently throughout the year to achieve great results on her SACs. She has regularly used the teacher's feedback to make further improvements in her work. Outstanding effort, Bridget. Legal Studies, Alex Giuseppos. Alex Giuseppos's approach to legal studies has been exceptional. Well done, Alex. <laughs> Literature, Emilia Vessio. Emilia's results in SACs have been high reaching and an extremely high level by the end of the year. She's a very hard worker, completing every piece of work diligently and thoroughly, no matter whether it was a SAC or homework. The improvement and the dedication she has shown over the past two years has meant that Amelia has been able to produce excellent results. Maths Methods, Brian Doan. Brian has shown that hard work and consistent effort coupled with an insightful mathematical intuition will inev inevitably lead to a successful year. Media, Joshua McCune. Great resilient attitude towards creating a media production in 2020. Josh, Josh has also shown fantastic knowledge across all aspects of the course. Music investigation, Luca Braiding. Luca has acquired significantly advanced skills and knowledge throughout the course due to his outstanding commitment to his learning and development. Music performance, Matteo Pinago. Matteo has shown outstanding commitment to his learning throughout the course. He has consistently achieved outstanding results and generously helped his peers. He has demonstrated advanced skills which have been developed through persistence and discipline. Physical education, Amy Huang. Amy has demonstrated an excellent work ethic throughout the year. She completed all tasks to an excellent standard and challenged herself to do better. Physics, Luke Zielinski. Luke has a keen intellect and enjoys exploring the hidden wormholes of VCE physics. He has worked consistently all year and pushed himself to excel. Psychology, Kayla Janides. Kayla has shown persistence and determination this year. She has maintained motivation through difficult circumstances. Through the year, Kayla consistently sought feedback on her work so that she was able to complete every task to a high standard. Specialist Maths, Luke Zielinski. Luke has excellent skills in maths and has a determination to continue to improve. He is a cooperative member of the class who thrives on challenges. VCD, Kayla Mazza Melisso. Kayla has shown such dedication, hard work and initiative throughout the year and has excelled in all outcomes. Her creativity shines throughout and she has challenged herself to produce amazing designs. On behalf of the Lady Years team, I congratulate the award winners and wish them well in the future. The 2020 class of Buckley Park College will be one which will work through their VCE and VCAL certificates in the midst of a year of uncertainty and interruption. However, through this, it has shown we are a year level with excellent resilience and tenacity to complete our final year of schooling. We've worked through all the hurdles and I'm sure that we as a cohort will not let one year define us as our experiences both in and outside of the classroom truly define us as the class of 2020. Not only have we completed school, we have begun a new chapter in our lives, whether it be further studies, apprenticeships, or even a gap year. The next chapter for us is opening as we leave a place which has given us memories to last a lifetime. From being a nervous year seven, walking into A Block for the first time, to la one last lunch time spent in the common room or outside with friends. The memories at this place, which we have been around for nearly a third of our life up to this point, will be cherished. Although we did not have the year we would have hoped for, good moments can come from it. New friendships formed, as well as a greater sense of community, as we as a co-op have experienced a year which is unique to us. We, as a school leadership team, are only a small cross-section of the amazing ideas, voices and thought which come from this amazing year level. To represent such a unique and diverse group of people has been a privilege. We made a year of uncertainty and change into one where we will ultimately reach our goals. 
When reminiscing about our time at Buckley Park College, I, amongst many of you, think undoubtedly of all the out-of-school hours I put in, whether that be for sport, music, production, and so on. We were that lucky to be able to challenge our interests into activities with friends we already had and also create lifelong bonds with others in the process. Off the top of my head, I immediately think of days playing cricket against other schools, playing guitar amongst all of the incredible musicians this year level has to offer, and being part of incredible productions. The house events, of course, were always highlights. Music, drama, banners, athletics, swimming. Through each of these, I can say for myself, and I'm sure for many of you, that every year someone in the year level would shock me as I discovered that we as a cohort possessed more talent and creativity than what I had previously anticipated. Extracurriculars was a space in which we could learn about each other away from the classroom. It was where common interests really flourished, where that quiet classmate turned into the opening bowler, or that person you were always told was an amazing swimmer blew any form of expectation you had out of the water. From backing up your mate on the footy field to laughing about it in the next day in class, it truly was a series of experiences we were privileged to have. When we look back at our time at high school, we will remember the memories that we made throughout the years, especially on our camps, excursions and school events. From shy year sevens making our very first friendships on Ace High Camp, to that year, the Night of the Notables, helping us get out of our comfort zone and speak in front of an audience to display our work. Year 8 came around and we were at, up at 6am ready for our flight to Tasmania. In the freezing cold, memories were made in the camp cabins and excursions around Tassie. In Year 9, our Bacchus Marsh camp taught us many survival skills with the talent show being a great experience with much laughter. A few of us were even lucky enough to participate in Alpine School and experience the school life in another perspective. Take a Stand also allowed us to explore the city and create our films. Year Tamp Camp was a popular one. Our trip to Central Australia, from camel riding, tiring hikes and even the 26 hour bus ride as we travelled from Melbourne all the way to the Northern Territory and back. In the same year, students undertaking AYDP and Outdoor Ed were lucky enough to participate in amazing camp activities. Year 11 was filled with some big changes and events. The much anticipated ski camp followed by the presentation ball. An amazing night with so many people participating and making it very much enjoyable. This year it's been so amazing to see everyone get dressed up in some really original and creative costumes for one last celebration. For all these memories, on behalf of our entire cohort, we'd like to say a massive thank you to the parents, staff, coordinators and everyone who contributed in making such a memorable journey. These allowed us to build and strengthen our relationships with not only our peers, but teachers and the community. Over the past years, we have achieved so much, both as a cohort and individually. From those of us who formed the SEAL class to the first of our year level school council representatives, Yuli Reid. Moving through the years, we had major success in several sports, into school and those who play as an extracurricular outside of school. Specifically, Patrick McLaughlin, Jakob Ort, Amy Huang, and Tamsin Crook. We also had our personal gains through other programs such as debating, where we got a few wins under our wing. Sam Nichols and Emily McCrowan both received best speaker. Our maths and science students that placed in the top percentile on the Australia-wide competitions, to all of the language students spending hours on Education Perfect trying to get that elite certificate. To the drama students for smashing out their drama exams and those in Graves House Theatre winning the last three years. Specifically, Declan Taylor received Best Actor 2019 and Michaela Roberts and Selena Ruth for participating in the winning Buckley Banner in 2019. Also those involved in music, travelling to Mount Gambia and participating in summer workshops. I hope you continue to pursue your music. I know that I've only pointed out a few small sections today, but we all know that everyone has achieved in their own ways. While working on these goals, we have be, been able to become closer as a year level and as a group of young adults. I can't wait to see where all of you take everything that you've learnt and accomplished. Looking back on the first day, I never imagined that I would be standing here saying goodbye to everyone in what feels like such a short time. It has been such a pleasure getting to know all of you and I hope you've made enough memories to move forward and make more. Congratulations, Congratulations on a fantastic, fantastic year. year.